Learning how to stall was one of the best things I ever did in Sideswipe. It completely revolutionized my game in ways I didn't expect at all. And I've gone from someone who thought stalling was just a flashy, fun mechanic, to someone who thinks it's a mechanic everyone must learn as soon as possible. And today, I'm going to teach it to you. Doing a single stall is actually incredibly easy. All you need to do is put your car in this position here with your wheels facing away from the ball and the middle of your car lined up with the middle of the ball. Then you want to jump and do a half air roll. Then once the bottom of your car hits the ball, you get a flip reset and there's your stall. Just a quick note that if you're on touchscreen, you'll want to enable the one touch hidden air roll button in the accessibility settings. This will allow you to just tap once anywhere in the empty space on the right side of your screen to do a half air roll. And for both controller and touch players, I really don't recommend using continuous air roll for this. The half air roll is much better. Okay, so you've done your first stall, but then you want to immediately follow that one with another one. You want to chain multiple stalls together. Well, you've got two main options. You can either press the half air roll button again, Or you can use your joystick to flip your car around like this. I personally use both of these depending on the situation I'm in and what I want to do with the stall. But really, the main thing to keep in mind is, if your car and the ball are too close and you try the joystick method, you'll hit the ball away like this. Sometimes this is really good, like if you want to push the ball forward for an attacking play. But sometimes it can really mess you up. So make sure to practice both of them, because they're both super useful in different situations. And the last thing I want to say about chaining stalls is actually one of the most important things. If you want to push the ball higher into the air like this, you'll actually need to hold jump when you do your stall. As you can see, when we don't hold jump, the ball basically just stays in the same place the whole time. And it stays super close to our car. So if you want to do awesome stall chains like this, keeping the ball up in the air forever, make sure you hold jump and not just tap it. My personal training method for learning stalls is to use the Hoops Arena Dunk House. This arena is absolutely essential for learning to stall because of the way the ball pops up for you at the start, which makes it so easy to get under the ball and get your stall chain going immediately. Whereas on SC field, you first need to pop the ball up for yourself and then start stalling. When just getting started, I recommend just leaving the ball alone at first. Just go into the middle of the arena and get yourself used to the sequence of inputs. So jump to get airborne, then for our stall, jump, air roll, wait, and air roll again. That wait is really important because if you don't wait and you just spam air roll, you might just hit the ball with the roof of your car instead and mess up your stall. So jump to get airborne, then jump, air roll, wait, and air roll again. Or jump to get airborne, then jump, air roll, wait, then turn with your joystick. Repeat this until you're super comfortable. And now we can try it with the ball. After you do that for a while, you can try jumping up to meet the ball in the air with a stall, and then try to follow up with another one. And that's it really. That's the method that I personally used when learning to stall, and it only took me a day or two. And if Mogs can do it, you guys can definitely do it too.
So as I said earlier, learning to stall was actually one of the most valuable things I've ever done in Sideswipe. And here's why. When you learn to stall, particularly if you learn using the half arrow button as I recommended in this video, you actually learn more than just the stall mechanic. You also learn to focus really closely on the orientation of your car at all times. You go from a player who air rolls all over the place, flipping into the ball and hoping for a flip reset. And you become a player who tactically manages the position of their car to ensure the most optimal circumstances are maintained for flip resets, purple shots, and pretty much everything else. After you've learned to stall, you'll start thinking so much more about your touches on the ball and how to position your car to get the best touch. Instead of just thinking, well, I could red shot, purple shot, gold shot, or I guess fake, you'll suddenly have so many more options. You could, of course, stall into the ball like this and continue with another touch. You could instead air roll the other way and hit it with the roof of your car. Or because you've gotten used to stalling and then flicking the ball away with the joystick, you could do that instead. Then stall, then purple shot. It just opens up so many doors that were otherwise closed to you and overall makes you such a better player. It makes the game much less random and much more deliberate. And honestly, I think if you're going to put time into training a mechanic, you should definitely put time into stalling over anything else. So I really hope that tutorial was helpful for you guys to learn how to stall. It's such a great mechanic that I honestly think is one of the most important in the game, alongside maybe the gold shot. And if you haven't seen my gold shot tutorial yet, go check that out, because gold shots are also incredibly important. And if you haven't already, go check out my second channel, where I do live gameplay of Sideswipe, Rocket League, and other games as well. Hmm, interesting. <laughs> <laughs> oh, maybe we can... Nah. Hmm. Come join the MOGS Discord server if you want to hang out with me and other MOGS viewers, and become a MOGS member if you want to play Sideswipe with me or get access to other perks. All the details for all of those are in the video description. And like the video if you liked it, dislike it if not. Subscribe for more videos like this as well as a whole bunch of other Rocket League and Rocket League Sideswipe content. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. I have seen the inescapable darkness enveloping and punishing. Where the stars whisper and roll. Where loneliness is absolute. Where the glimmer of hope is my only salvation. Well, it is a beautiful day. We are on our way to the distress call. Great, it's raining. That'll make for a comfy trip. Alright, come on, pull yourself together. You've done this before.